Hello, readers. Welcome to another LitJoy podcast, Fun Friday. Fun, Fun Friday. Friday. Fun Friday. Um, we are here today with special guest Kim Christensen at Talk Wordy to Me. You can find her. It'll, we'll link to her in the show notes. And Kim has curated our list today of Ooh. reading recommendations. So take it away, Kim. Mm, I'm so excited because these are all contemporary romances, which is such a fun yeah. genre. Who yep. doesn't love a good contemporary romance? Idiots. So, exactly. Idiots. <laughs> and people who haven't tried them yet. Yeah. If you're still listening, you are not an idiot. <laughs> Number one is Snowed In by Katherine Walsh. I just discovered this author and I am so charmed by her and her writing style. Witty banter set in Ireland. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so excited because I just bought this book and I'm all, it looks good. Bought it. Didn't know anything about it. Okay. It's is it so literally fun. like the Snowed In trope? In Ireland? Oh, oh I'm, I'm yeah, so like, happy. Freaking catnip. I'm like, that sounds amazing. I exactly. <laughs> I love it. Okay. You won't be disappointed. Perfect. If you're not an idiot. Number two, <laughs> Beach Read by Emily Henry. Ooh, love it. It's the first I read by her. It's yeah. the first romance she wrote. And so I love it. And it's a literary writer and a romance writer who doesn't believe in romance anymore. Come together in this small lakeside house or town. They're next to each yep. other. They're not in the same house. Yeah. And it's just... A smart romance. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Well, That's a perfect yeah. way to describe it. And I did love that there was like a side plot where there was a cult. And I was like, yes. 100%. <laughs> I was like, I it loved was it. Great. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. If you love books, you need to read this because it's just a book lover's dream. Set in a bookstore. She's a book nerd. And will she come out of her shell and find love? <laughs> Yes. Yes, she will. I love the trailer. Very Question mark. I da, love da, that. Da. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Again, very witty and just so fun to read. Kind of like Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. If you like that, you'll like this. Quirky oh, okay. character. Quirky. Oh, I loved Eleanor. Yeah. Quirky and charming. Too. Yes. Which is kind of like uh, the kiss quotient. She's also oh, neurodivergent, which love I love it. that. But anyways, we'll get back to the list. Number four on our list. One True Loves by TJR Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one is my favorite by her. I know that's kind of probably an unpopular opinion because she has so many bestsellers, but I really liked this one. And it's kind of sad. And this isn't a spoiler because you know it going in, but this woman loses her husband early on in their marriage. They're newlyweds. And then, you know, someone from the past comes along and she has to kind of navigate that. So yes, there's some heavier parts to it, definitely. But the romance side is really good and unique. Yeah. Yeah. I there's like some it. steam in it too. I was like, when you say fun. really good, are we talking spice level? There's some a... spice that comes okay. in toward the end that's solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a little bit of a slow burn too if the spice comes toward the end. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, I love that too. Amazing. Mm -hmm. A Season for Second Chances by Jenny Bayless. I love it. She's the also the author of 12 Dates of Christmas, which I loved as well. And this is just a woman who gets a second chance at love because her first love was a jerk. And you're rooting for her, and they're in a seaside cottage in England. I feel like there's a we, theme here. Yeah, I'm we all, have a lot. We're like, it's if it's in the UK. British Isles, and it's in a cottage, winter, <laughs> <laughs> and forced together with somebody, right? I'm like, yes. I really feel like the um, what's that show, The Holiday? I'm yeah, like it really set us up to be like, this is what we want. <laughs> this is what we want. This is what we need. We will not settle for less. And then yeah. seaside's like Nicholas Sparks' jam. He's like, if there's an ocean, I am there. <laughs> 100%. Yes. I know. But I'm like, it's so romantic. And it even is. is now, like, even when I'll go, I'll be like, I hope that I have a romantic encounter. And my husband's like, I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's just the aesthetic, okay? <laughs> totally. 100%. It's what we all want. We're living vicariously, let's be honest. I know. I love it. Yes. That's why my husband is reading um, Fourth Wing. So you're like, you need good. to know about this. <laughs> I know I keep telling Bless my husband about like romance books. I'm all, this one I feel like you'd really resonate with, you know? And he's like, why? <laughs> and I'm all, I don't know, like the main guy just kind of reminded me of you and things that I would like you to learn about. Yes. <laughs> Even Shuffles the screenshots. <laughs> screenshots. Send some screenshots. That's Looks so like funny. a charm. Without context. Like, <laughs> yeah, just thank here. you. Okay. <laughs> Helpful hints. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Number six. Number six. The Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. Mm. This is okay. a less popular book than some of her others, but yeah. Alex and I were saying it's one of our favorites. It totally is. I yeah. haven't read this one. Leanne, I haven't heard of it. It's well, delightful. she's got, she has like maybe 15 books mm -hmm. out there. So she has lots of books and she writes regularly. So she has new ones that come out kind of like every other year. 
And most people know Big Little Lies Mm -hmm. and What Alice Forgot. Those are kind of her two biggest ones. The Husband's Secret. Secret. Yeah, Yeah, that's another one that's really popular. Mm -hmm. Um, But The Hypnotist Love Story is one of my absolute favorites of hers because The Hypnotist is a, she's like a hypnotherapist, right? She's a hypnotherapist. And she is dating this man who has a serious stalker. And the way that she, the woman, not the stalker, but the woman comes to meet the stalker is just very interesting it's and intriguing. Fascinating. It's mm-hmm. really, it's a page turner. Mm-hmm. I like it. And mm-hmm. all of Leanne's books have like this addictive quality to them where she, first of all, is she Australian? I she think is. She is. Yeah. So she tells, I find that many Australian authors, um, like Kate Mortensen, isn't Kate she? Morton. Mm-hmm. Kate Morton. Yeah. They like, have that atmospheric you were yes. talking about in our other episode, like that yeah. atmospheric ability to transport you into a setting. Mm-hmm. And you just feel so integrated into the community and the culture as you're reading it. Mm-hmm. And so you're like really invested in what's going to happen next. And there's this like building tension of like something's going to happen, something's going to happen. All of her books, Slam Moriarty's, are mystery. Yeah. Like they have this mystery element where you don't quite know how it's going to end. Yeah. Is someone going to die? Is like s- someone going to be revealed? Mm-hmm. Is, you know, there's like these. Mm-hmm. So there is like, there the stakes are high in mm-hmm. her books, I feel mm-hmm. like. And it is it always has romance too. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. Love yeah. that one. I'm like, Leanne is like legit, like mm-hmm. a oh, fantastic yeah. writer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Respect for her. Yeah. Sure. My Oxford Year by Julia Whelan. Someone recommended this to me because they're like, you, this is you in a book because I love Oxford. At the time I was applying to go to Oxford, they rejected me. We're going to egg them later. <laughs> we will what the you. hell, Oxford? <laughs> Oxford no, I found out. my spot. I found my program and we're happy. But uh, it's, if you like England, again, here we are talking <laughs> about England. <laughs> I, mean, I knew you were back. We never left. <laughs> Somewhere between Spain, in Scotland, Oxford, Ireland. Yeah. You feel like, I mean, I read books because I want to go where they're set, you know, and this is set at Oxford. So you get that experience and it's a beautiful little romance. I listened to it. Julia Whalen is the person who wrote it. And also she's a well-known voiceover artist. She awesome. narrates all of Emily Henry's books. So she reads her own book and it's, very well read, well written, and well read. Nice. All right. How spicy is it? Mm, I don't remember it being deeply spicy. There is some, but it's not. I would give it like maybe two peppers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I feel like Liam Moriarty is like one and a half pepper kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And this this one's probably really similar. I feel like it's very mild. It might yeah. be closed door. Mm-hmm. And then float plan. By Trish Dollar. I've never heard of this book. I love it. It's so <laughs> fun. It's spicy. It's spicier than the others. It's not like a four by any means, but it's the story of this woman who, again, you find out early on, but her boyfriend died. And so kind of sad setup, but it can only go up from there, right? And then she takes, she charters a yacht. Well, I think she was going to take a yacht with her boyfriend. But he oh, died, she, and so she's she like, well, I gotta use the yacht. <laughs> exactly. So she goes, and of course, the captain is this hunky Irish man. I and see. So, <laughs> are we back in Ireland? We're back in Ireland. Very happy about this. Sing me a song <laughs> of a captain who is gone. <laughs> oh, yes. So you can guess what happens there. It's so this is delightful. a little spicier, but it's yeah. on a yacht. It's on a yacht, so it's a little different. Different setting, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Still an Irishman uh, who is involved, though. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm all, I'll take it. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, oh, I love number nine. Okay. Yeah, number nine. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And yes. I love this series. It's also on Netflix, and it's so cute. It's darling. Yeah, it's a YA. Mm-hmm. And it's just so fun. It makes you feel like you're 16 again with all the emotions of first loves. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Yeah, I really it's written from the first person and there's like a, a tight knit family. It's just a fun one to jump into. Perfect. Yeah. And number 10. Number 10. Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This is her debut novel and she's had another one come out since then. Meet Me at the Lake House, which I haven't read. But this one, Every Summer After, was really fun. A really good debut novel. I believe Carly Fortune is she works in the publishing industry, so she has that know how. So it's yeah. a, it's a well-written book. And uh Steamy, for sure. 
but not like smutty. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right really fun. Right on that good line. <laughs> summer. Yes. It's a good beach read. Oh, perfect. I love it. Mm-hmm. All right. Perfect. So that's our top 10 list by Kim of must read contemporary romances. And I love this. This It's always good when we can get other people's perspectives on these mm-hmm. kinds of books because I know Alex and I read a lot. It's a little ancestral. Like yeah. We read a lot of the <laughs> same, of the book. same book. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we love having other perspectives on this. And I'm very excited to read all of these. Yeah. Yep. I'm I feel like it's perfect you, season. It's hard to find some. There's so many, but I'm picky about the ones I read. They have to be smartly written, you know, like intelligently yeah. written. Yeah. And spicy in the right way. So. I hope you enjoyed That's the perfect list for that reader. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right, reader. Thank you for listening to the Lit Droid podcast. Make sure to rate and review us. And like a good book, don't forget to recommend us to your friends.